Welcome back. Today is Sunday, May the 26th, and today I'm going to do my fourth vlog in the five-week series on the um, Wagner's granulatosis, it being National Vasculitis Awareness Month. It's a mouthful. Anyhow, I'm going to do something different today. Um, I'm going to talk about the good things that have happened to me since I've developed Wagner's. And a little sidebar, uh, Friday I did my last round of chemo. I did 10 rounds, 6 months of Cytoxin, and I will start Rituxin, which is an antibody therapy, not a chemotherapy. My nephrologist uh, said it was chemotherapy, but my oncologist said it's antibody therapy. It still will have a lot of the same side effects, but it won't cause hair loss, which you can't tell on this side because of the oops, because of the sun. Um, but I'm definitely getting my hair back. It's grown back thicker now. Hopefully in about a year it'll be long again. But anyhow, so that is um, good news. And then the other thing I wanted to share is today is actually the sixth month anniversary of my diagnosis. So a lot has changed in the last six months. And I posted this on my personal Facebook page this morning. Another friend with Wegner's has posted this. 150,000 people a year are hospitalized with Wegner's granulatosis. 11% of those people die. 30% of people are permanently disabled and 51% of people are partially disabled within five years. I was one of those people hospitalized, so I was one of the 150,000. I was almost one of the 11%, but I thank God every day I'm now one of the 89% that survive. And number three, I am permanently disabled. I don't look sick. I understand that. I have an invisible illness, but I'm very, very ill. I have very, very little strength, and I have very little endurance, and I feel bad a lot, and I'm tired all the time. So anyhow, but we will go ahead and get started. So I'm going to share good things that happened to me with Wagner's. First thing is I don't talk about religion on my channel. I very seldom talk about it on my personal Facebook. To me, my YouTube channel is not a platform for my beliefs. I do want to share that my faith has grown by leaps and bounds. I've been a Christian for a long time, but this really, really has strengthened me. I have seen God perform massive miracles in my life. Uh, the biggest miracle is that I went off dialysis. So when I was telling my chemo nurse about it Friday, she had never heard of Wegner's, and I was telling her about my creatinine levels were at 10 in the hospital, and I was taken off dialysis three months later. She said that never happens. If you reach a creatinine level of 10, you never go off dialysis. So, once again, just proof that God has worked many a miracles, but that's the biggest one, in my opinion, short of me being alive. Um, another thing it's done has strengthened my marriage. I've been married almost 19 years, and if you've been married for a long time, you understand you kind of get in a, a rut, uh, kind of a pattern where you just kind of go through the motions. Well, this has strengthened our marriage. He has been a rock for me. He is there for me when I need him. He comforts me. He lets me rant. He lets me, you know, cry. And even like this morning, I had a meltdown as I was thinking about, you know, it's been six months and how my life is so different. You know, it's hard for me to accept the loss of the old me and accept the new life, the new me. Um, but I'm, I'm working on it, so that's definitely been a plus. It has taught me and made me very, very humble. I've always been a very independent person. I've always been able to take care of myself, I take care of others, and I have times that I, I can't. Uh, the first three months after I was diagnosed, I couldn't take a shower without Keith standing in the bathroom with me. I was extremely weak. I had a terrible fear of showers. I feared I was going to pass out. And I um, really worried that that was going to happen. I would have full-blown panic attacks when I had to take a shower. 
So it's very humbling to have to rely on a, another person to help you shower when you're a grown woman. Um, I have ex been able to reach out and accept help from people to give me rides to the doctors, chemo, dialysis. I didn't drive for about three and a half, four months because I was so incredibly weak and I did not trust my instincts to drive. You know, it's, you know, humbling to have to ask for help. It's humbling to accept help. We had people bringing us meals and, you know, providing us gift cards and cash for meals. You know, I've really, really appreciated that. Um, another thing it has done for me that's good is it has really helped my attitude of gratitude. I have always been a positive person, much to the chagrin of my husband, but he did tell me one day, he said, your positive attitude has finally come into play or come into good use. Uh, I've just, you know, I have always been a glass is half full kind of gal. And as you know, if you've watched my videos that I end all my videos with not every day is good, but there's something good in every day. I have believed that for years. It's been my mantra and it's really, really played into my life now. Um, even on my very worst days when maybe the only thing I can do is get out of bed, I'm thankful that I can do that. I'm thankful that I'm alive. Another thing that's good is that I can no longer work. That part's not so good. I'd really like to be able to work. I'd really like to go back to my job. I had a good job as an office manager and I did some HR work. It was a very rewarding job. I was good at what I did, but I don't have the strength to do it now. Um, there are days, like I said, I could literally barely get out of the bed. And so I know I could not handle it. Plus I have really bad fuzzy, like um, they call it chemo brain. I can't remember anything. So it would be very bad to try to do all the accounting work that I have to do and keep track of all the HR things when you can't remember your name half the time. So I am so thankful and grateful. A good thing that has happened is I was approved for SSDI on the first try. Now I realize I don't look sick. Uh, I don't look like I have an illness, but I have a chronic illness. And next week on my fifth week, I'm going to talk about the Spoonie Theory and I'm gonna explain what it's like to have a chronic invisible illness. So, another good thing is because I cannot work, um, I can do a little more travel. Now, my traveling is limited because of our finances, me not bringing in the income that I brought in. I'm drawing about half of what I was making with um, my SSDI, which is, I'm thankful for that. And we can certainly live off what my husband makes. It's just a lot tighter. So it's nice to have that extra money coming in. But now I'll be able to travel. Like I have a, as you guys know, I have a grown daughter and she is 24 and she lives in Illinois. And I look forward to get married in the next couple of years and probably have children in the next, you know, four or five years. And I'm thankful that because I can't work, I can go visit her and visit my grandbaby. I want them to know they're hot Mimi. I want to be called Mimi and then I joked and said I want to be called hot Mimi because I'm going to be a young grandma even though I'm not really young I just look young. But uh, my son, sidebar, my son told me that if I taught his kids to call me hot Mimi that he couldn't, he wouldn't let me see him anymore. So that's our little running joke that I'm going to be the hot Mimi. But I'm grateful that I'll be able to go, I'll be able to spend time with my daughter and my son-in-law and my grandchild. She says they're only going to have one, so we'll see. But I'm just thankful for that. And, you know, it's just little things like that that I, I appreciate. But I think that's about it. It's been a bad, hard, tough six months, but a lot of good has come forth from this. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this message. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys have a great day. And don't forget, not every day is good, but there's absolutely always something good in every day. And I'll see you I next why time. Why I titled this vlog, what I titled it, Bright Side BB, is that um, I have two hashtags that I sign off on anything I'm doing on Facebook in reference to this. is hashtag Betty Badass, which we talked about in a previous vlog, and then also hashtag BrightSideBB. My husband started calling me that because 
I look at the bright side of everything, and I'm Betsy Butler. So, bright side BB. All right, that was it.